Well, we are going to have a walk out across Holt Heath, the nature reserve. That's what we're doing now. And uh, we're amongst all these lovely trees going down a road that's not very often used, just uh, to the residents. And uh, we're going to go a different way around today. So we're going to be going through the trees first and then out across the heathland and the bogland. So, first of all, thank you for watching, liking, sharing and ringing the bell. And uh, a special thank you to all those who have indeed subscribed. And if you're watching fairly regularly, please support the channel by subscribing and incidentally you will make an old man quite happy. There we are. What more can one say? And uh, down here by this little car, we've got to take a right turn and then we go through the, through the woods, through some woodland. Um, we've been down here for almost three weeks, down in Dorset. And uh, there's not a cloud in the sky today. And there hasn't been, there was one or two mornings where there was a little bit of cloud first thing. And then by about half past nine, 10 o'clock, it was all gone. So we're in a situation where we've had a wonderful time down here. Haven't we, darling? Yes. It's been superb. Is that a robin on that post over there? Hello, robin. Yes, it's a robin, I think. There he is. There oh, sorry, I was uh, busy looking at the robin. Sort your shoe out? Yeah. Oh, dear. Mrs. Hurst got a problem with her shoe. As you can see, there's bog land over there because there's the boggy grass growing through. There's a bit of water you can see. I think the bog is drier than it has been because we had nearly three weeks of sunshine and no rain. So it's possible that, uh, yeah, you can see it, but it's not, it's, you still can't walk on it. Wouldn't be safe to walk over there. You'd sink through in between. So we're walking our way, a different way round to where we, to where we normally go but it's a, a lovely walk it's about an hour to go all the way around the heath and that is what we are doing but I don't know where you are in the world but I hope you're having good weather as well um, although of course we need rain but uh, I have no problem with rain at night we don't do we it's the daytime well, we've had a relaxing day today, doing not very much. We had a cooked full English breakfast done for us by the people at the site. And that cost how much, Irene? Six. Six pounds a head, bodies extra. Yeah, six pounds a head for a full English breakfast, I don't think is too bad. I had quite a lot of, uh, well, I had a plate full, to be honest, and some toast afterwards. I've just remembered, I clean forgot to have a cup of tea, but uh, never mind. So tomorrow we've got to lay plans and I think we may be going to Durdle Door. Uh, we may get to, um, what's that cove? Lulworth. Lulworth Cove and we may get to Lulworth Castle. But of course, by the time you see this, um, it won't be relevant telling you that you'll, but, but of course I suppose its relevance is that you can still look at the other videos of the Lulworth, Lulworth anyway. But um, yeah, I've been trying to load up videos. I've loaded up 10, including a few shorts. Uh, I've left the computer running on a table under the awning now. And with a bit of luck, it might have got to 50% time I get back. It is a pity how slow the internet is on these sites. They all want to say they've got free internet. I, I half think if they charge a few bob for the internet and put up a decent speed internet, it would be better. But then not everybody needs to get their videos uploaded every day. 
as a vlogger does but there we are well margaret as a regular one mini and one or two others reform bbc and uh oh a, a few regulars who comment uh i feel sorry because you've got a heck of a lot to look at now um because i've got about 70 or 80 to go up when i get home on wednesday yeah you can see it's all dried up now but um this is interesting this great big tree here has been left in the position where it fell and it's carried on growing because the roots are still connected and uh I, th I quite like that i quite like the look of that look a lovely oak tree laying on its laying on its side what love no ggs in there no that's a pity. Got the sun coming from the left here, which is giving this lovely dappled effect through the trees. Um, there you go. I'm sorry I haven't been talking to the pigeons lately, but uh, never mind. Yeah, we've got just uh, three days, well, two days to go, and then one uh, day to travel home. So I think that will be Lulworth Cove and Durdle Door tomorrow. And then... We'll have to do a national test. Uh, what? Kingston? No. Or, oh, another one. Well, yeah, we haven't fully decided yet, but we'll have to have a condensation about it. I can hear a robin singing his little heart out yeah you can see the tufts of grass that is normally in a boggy landscape but it's a little bit drier today now when we came this route before we were going the other way round we came across a load of bullocks and uh, are they called heifers? I don't know anyway there were lots of them they've be got beautiful brown coats there goes a squirrel running across there yeah um and uh we had to take a slightly different path because the path was narrow and they stood and then we couldn't have got past them we we got past some of them on a wider path they just ignored us uh they seem a very friendly crew but uh anyway thank you for watching and bye for now the rambler